Father D'Souza, General D'Souza, ladies and gentlemen, I am here under false pretenses. Uh, I must be the only one here who has never been into to a college. Uh, General D'Souza has told you all about me. I am most appreciative of his kind words. My only regret is that my wife wasn't here to hear them. She would have treated me with greater respect. Uh, and when I say I am uneducated, I really mean it. Uh, I must be the only member of my family who isn't a graduate. I managed to do my inter-science. I got a third division, Mushkil Se. For a long time, I've been watching the scene in India very carefully. Wherever I go, whenever I pick up a newspaper, I find there are shortages. There's a shortage of fuel, there's a shortage of food, there is a shortage of foreign exchange, there is a shortage of housing, shortage of schools, colleges, everywhere. And everybody talks about these shortages. But the one shortage which is responsible for all these shortages is generally glossed over, which is the shortage of leadership. When I talk of shortage of leadership, I do not mean just political leadership. I mean leadership in every walk of life. Whether it's political, administrative, in educational institutions, in our sports organizations, in our industry, amongst labor, amongst the law and order contingents, there is a shortage of leadership. 